what's going on youtube welcome back to another video guys and in this video we have something a little bit different something i've never actually done here in the channel before but it is a roblox studio tutorial a tutorial on how to build characters more specifically how to build in this new trending art style that's going on in roblox so it's like build the uh build a build not build a steal a brain rod sort of style grow a garden whatever you want to call it you guys know what i mean like these blocks these styles right here of characters even zuru does it build a zoo all of these games do it like that so i was like you know what let me bring a tutorial on how you guys can build this because it's actually pretty simple but there are a couple hacks that you can use to make the building a lot easier and honestly anyone can do it it's just knowing these little details that's gonna make your building go from something really basic looking to something really cool so if you guys excited if it's a like subscribe do what you guys got to do let me know what kind of videos you guys want in the channel this is just a second upload because it's you know not a video i'm usually doing this so i'm not expecting it to do so well but leave me down some video ideas if you guys like this or not and i can bring more development tutorials now starting off you're gonna want to go ahead and open your roblox studio world and i have over here a world where i have some characters now this is for a game i'm currently working on i'm not going to reveal too much about it i'm not going to talk about what the game is going to be about why the characters like this but either way we have over here as you see there is a model of bonnie i made pretty quickly over here it's not really one of the rarest rarity units in the game so you know obviously i didn't have to put that much detail into it but you still see it turned out pretty nice i actually really like how the head turned out and things like that and then over here we have a freddy also of this new art style this like trending art style it's not really new it's just a trending art style so first thing you want to do is once you hop into roblox studio you're going to want to search up stud or just search up not stud part that was the wrong thing just search up stud and then you should see pop up the material right here 2022 stud materials this one right here stud materials this is the one you want to put in because once you spawn this in you'll see that all of these are going to show up in your roblox studio i'm just going to delete it because i already have it but you want to go ahead and oh, why is it not deleting okay there we go just get all of these don't delete it just get all these and drag it over here into material service and as you can see they're all in here you don't even need all these honestly this just adds variations if you want to i personally for my games only use the 2022 small stud and basically what that does is that if i put in a part in roblox studio right here i can click on material i can go to custom and as you can see there's all these custom materials and the reason why you want materials over just like a decal and stuff like that is because obviously it stretches out with your model so it just makes everything a lot easier and it's super super simple to process you can also use the regular studs which is this one over here they are a little bigger i'm not a big fan of it especially when you scale things down it just does not look right like if i was to get this body right here and i was to scale this thing down this part to like scale down to the to the nose of him you'll see that the scaling would be very off like the part would be half of it it's just very weird i would recommend using the mini studs that's what most of those games actually use as well so once you have your mini studs right here it's up to the creativity it's up to you guys at this point i'm gonna teach you guys also how to make this animatable don't worry but it's up to you guys on the character you want to make now i'm just gonna give you guys some general tips on what you guys can do starting off start off with the torso honestly that's my best advice i like to build from the middle to the sides and on up I like to start off with the torso building and then I build one arm and one leg. There's no point in building two different arms unless your character has, you know, something unique on two different arms. I build one arm and then I clone this arm and I put it over here. I'll be showing you guys in detail in just a second. So starting off with the base of the body, I'm not going to build an actual character. I'm just going to do something like pretty simple. But one thing you need to know about this art style is that you need to have lots and lots of little details. And what do I mean by that is like, let's say this is my character, right? This is the back of my character. I need to add some depth to the character. I need to add some details to make the model go ahead and look better. So maybe I'm going to pull this forward a little bit over here. Maybe move this down over here and then move it like a little bit to the side, a little bit to the side. And then there you go. We already add like a little bit of like a chest. As you can see, I did that for Bonnie over here. As you see, it goes down. There's a one right here and then one right here and then one right here and one right here to add this detail to Bonnie. You can also just see that his uh, torso is not like a flat square. It's one square right here with another little square right here with another little square right here. And that just adds more depth. The same thing with the arms. If you go close to it, you'll see that it's one big square and then there's another little square here and another little square. All this just adds detail and make your model just a lot better. Same thing for the head. You'll see I added like this like cheek mouth thingy that bonnie has freddy does not have that for example but it just adds a lot more detail once you do it same thing with the snout over here as you can see there's like a detail over here and over here just play around with these 3ds and honestly at first it's a little bit confusing but once you play around with these like scaling wise and like positioning them like this and like making them 3d like look more 3d you'll see it's gonna look a lot better so maybe if i color this like let's like let's say black let's say i color this uh black over here and then let's color these two 
like a grayish like right there you'll see that it already looks pretty cool but this one is way too blocky still so let's maybe fix that a little bit let's bring this one up and then to unmake to make this less blocky we will simply do this i'll do it like maybe once or twice like raise go right here not too much side and side i'm doing this really quickly to just to show you guys and then the same rinse and repeat process for this thing right here just move it here move it here and then same thing move up move here move here move here and as you can see it already looks a lot better than just a big block from before and then of course you go ahead and you add some details to the sides like some details back here like boom boom to round this off let me bring it to this side so it's also on this side over here and as you can see it just looks a lot better already from those simple things we already made that big square into this more of a rounded shape that does look a lot better you obviously want to add a back you don't want to leave this back flat over here sometimes what i'll do is i'll just copy uh the chest model right here turn it around move it over here and then i'll change it to black and then as you can see the chest for this is basically done like with no detail the base for the chest is basically done like look how easy that was right there and it already looks super cool now i have my models done i have the leg i have the head i have everything how do i turn this into a model and actually make it animatable well what you want to do first the key piece is get another block and then you want to scale it around so you want to cover it all up because this is going to be like the handle so you're going to put it right here put it right here and then just make it roughly around the same shape. It doesn't need to be perfect. Like I can do like right here. Uh, and like that. That's around good. And then you want to go over here to transparency. Put that to zero. I'm going to name this torso. And then what you want to do is grab all of these uh, pieces and put it into the torso. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to rename all these pieces. I usually just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. If you have the patience, you can go ahead and like name them whatever thing you want. I don't have the patience for that. And then once you're there, you're going to get whatever plugin you use to weld. I use Moon Animator, in my opinion, it's the easiest one. I know it's paid, a lot of people won't have it, but if you do, you can also find ways to download it for free. Click on Easy Weld, turn off Animatable, click on the torso, hold Shift, and click on the last part. As you can see, it should say over here, Base Part Torso, Target Part Varied. Click Join in Place, and there we go. You're all set. Also, I forgot to mention one thing, though. Make sure you go ahead and turn off Can Collide. Actually, this just depends on your game, but I would just recommend turning off Can't Collide. And there you go. Your torso is basically ready. Like, this is all going to be one piece once we put it in the actual model. So, I'm going to delete it now because I'm not going to be sh making building a whole model. But I'm going to be showing you rather with this Bonnie model. Now, this Bonnie, I actually mess up but not really instead of putting it all into a part like i did with the example i just showed you guys i actually unified all the parts of the torso so i made them all into one part this was kind of annoying because later on if when i had to make these other versions of bonnie where i had to like recolor him i had to separate the union and recolor it i would just not recommend recoloring it i mean i would re recommend not uniting it using the, the method i just showed you uh as you can see if i go all the way over here i guess i will spoil this model if i go over here to the thing which is the first model i ever built if I click over here on normal and then you'll see that it's also just a torso that has all the different parts so once you have all of that you just want to build and rename so as you can see I have right arm I have right leg all of them as you can see also for the thing like you see how I added like details over here to the arm to make it a little bit better that's all you want to do list them all out all the way you're gonna have it and then the most important part group it all, all together as a model as you can see build a part just add a random part to the to the character and then just put it around the center as you can see i put my part right here like inside of him like in the waist that's where i put it and name it humanoid root part once you have that room uh, humanoid root part click the plus button animation controller and add this item once you have this this is basically done make sure you click on the model though scroll down to primary part my microphone's in the way i have to go right here primary part click on humanoid uh, click here and make sure it's humanoid root part and then you are literally all set because all you have to do is click right here and there you go you'll see if i click new rig animation uh unless my robot freezes there you go you will see that i can grab him i can move his torso now for this one i did mess up as well i forgot to mention this but if you got well i did not mess up there's two ways you can take go about this when you have all your parts i forgot to say that you have to weld once you have all your parts you can either weld everything to the humanoid root part which is what i did for this model how do i do that easy weld humanoid root part to head to the left to the to everything you want to weld you just do that make sure you have animatable selectable make sure you have animatable selectable you need this selectable 
you can do it to the humanoid root part and what does this mean well it basically means that i can move any part around that i want i don't have to nothing is gonna affect anything like as you can see i'm moving the torso and nothing else is moving blah 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 that is something you want to do or you can do what i did for my most recent models which is if i go over here to bonnie which is i actually welded everything to the torso now why would i do that it makes some animations easy because as you can see now if i move the torso everything else moves this it just depends honestly what you're more comfortable with i'm more comfortable with this just because i'm used to animating roblox characters and rigs and those rigs the torso control everything so it's easier for me to just control all the movement from the torso but if you are making a character that is like very complicated it's gonna have like very different torso animations from the everything else then do it like this where you attach all your parts to the torso May, or you attach all the parts to the humanoid root part sorry if that was kind of confusing let me kind of like just to sum it up you want torso movement without affecting the arms without affecting anything you can just spin the torso attach everything to a humanoid root part like this or not like this but this is the the other model like this humanoid root part attach everything like this if you want to everything to move alongside the torso attach everything to the torso like this one key thing I forgot to mention, sorry, uh, that was from before. When you add your animation controller and you make your model, the primary part, humanoid root part, make sure you click on humanoid root part and then torso. This one you have to attach to each other and then weld them as animatable. Weld as animatable is just going to make everything a lot easier. And then there you go. Once you do all that, you will have a perfectly ready model. So for building, let's just re do a quick recap for this video. Building main focus is 3d details adding these little edges that round off the shapes don't just leave it as a square everything 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 you should not have any flat parts at all like everything you need to add detail as you can see like over here like there's a little detail right here even the legs like if i go down here you will see that they have like these 3d even the feet you'll see that they go up here and here everything will just make the model so much better like just make sure you guys do that even the guitar over here i don't know if you guys can see but this does go out a little bit out from it uh the eyes i did a little bit out as you can see the eyes go out a little bit from this black part over here so just everything add some details that go out and then the rigging process as i said make everything here you can unionize you know you can turn it into a union each part which i don't really recommend because it was kind of a hassle when i wanted to edit something on the model or you can put them onto a part like i said right here for this character put it right here rename everything make sure you make a humanoid root part over here attach the humanoid root part to the torso using animatable on over here and then make sure you just either put everything into torso or everything into root part with the animationable web like i said humanoid root part if you want to have free range torso movement that does not affect anything else at all or if you want the torso when the torso moves the arms and legs to also move attach everything to the torso that is my best advice for you guys if this video was helpful or if you have any questions please 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 leave them in the comments down below i will be very happy to answer them for you guys i hope this video can help anybody a little bit i say this because before i found out this method of building i was very confused because i wanted to build in this art style and i tried to switch up some tutorials on youtube and i couldn't really find anything so i was like you know what maybe there's somebody else that needs some help that could use some help that hopefully their question got answered all right guys that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe do what you guys gotta do and i'll see you guys next time peace